Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. So last episode, I gave you guys some questions on how exactly we should go about certain things in this series. And I originally was thinking about pursuing, you know, Morgan and all that stuff. And I put the poll in the community tab and majority of you guys said that we should probably still have him sleep around. And then some people were commenting saying maybe kind of like both, you know, have him sleep around a couple more times and then we can maybe pursue Morgan. This kind of works out actually because she is still pregnant with Wogan's baby so maybe she's like it's not the perfect time for us to like get together so I think this gives Ryder the opportunity to go and sleep around a little bit more so that's what we're gonna do and then as far as Bina and Arlo goes I think I might have them date for a little bit but nothing too long I don't see them getting married or anything like that so I think that's how we're gonna go about that so maybe later on today we can like have them start talking or something like that but we do have a gig that we have to perform at for two hours, and I don't remember where it was. Oh, at the Wayland's Haunt, right. I think we're probably going to go here with Bina and perform there. So, because we're, like, still a part of a band. 31 Flyers still is, you know, the band. 31 Flyers has their first official gig, which is kind of exciting because we have yet to perform together. Is she riding a bike? Oh no, they're in the car together. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, I'm actually excited for this because we have not yet had a chance to do this. We took a little bit of a break from 31 Flyers. We didn't really pursue anything there. So let's go ahead and wear our everyday outfit. And I think we just go ahead and start playing. Uh, perform gig. Ooh, I think we should do rock. Let's do rock. I need to put my music on so I can hear them. Because obviously I want to hear my 31 Flyers play. Wait, is this the band or is this the radio playing? Holds one. Okay. I guess nobody ever said that we were good. Actually, Ryder's doing pretty good. Oh, she has work. Well, honey, we were performing a gig right now, so can't really go anywhere. Now, let me take a picture of this to commemorate the moment they actually performed together. The two X's. <laughs> All right, and the two hours is done. So, deliver commission to Lala Angelista. We'll get simoleons and celebrity points. Also, I know, I forgot to say earlier, I got a message saying that Cheyenne, Ryder's sister, is getting in a relationship with somebody. I forgot the name of the person, but it looks like Emmy and Alan are officially having troubles in their relationship. Ooh, damn. We're gonna go get paid. So I think today, we're gonna go pursue Stella and Sugar um, and maybe Marina just to get that out of the way, you know, get our last pregnancies out of the way and just kind of have our last hurrah before we commit to being with Morgan because obviously I want him to become a vampire. Like, oh, I'm so excited. I haven't like I haven't actually played with a vampire in The Sims 3 uh, like properly like ever. So I'm kind of excited. Did we just park up behind her and be like, girl, pay me? Get out of the car and pay me. Um, ma'am, I would like to get paid for my gig. Wait, oh, we're getting like run over. Flirt, huh? He just was like, hey, I know you're on the street somewhere. I was gonna go come over to flirt real quick. Where is she? Um, right. I guess we're just gonna flirt like that with her. Um, Morgan, we're gonna get with you later, all right? I just wanna see where she was. All right. I'm gonna go and, let me see. I'm gonna invite out, no, actually, just kidding. I'm gonna invite Sugar to our house. That way we can just woohoo with her at our house. And then I'll send her home, and invite Stella, <laughs> and then uh, I'll try to, I don't think we have any sort of romantic relationship with Marina though, from what I remember. No, but we are getting closer in relations. Invite over Sugar. If they deny me, you know, so be it. Go play on the playground. Your dad has business to attend to. Hey, sugar, how's it going? I'm gonna just start flirting with her, honestly. I'm hoping that these traits that I purchased or the rewards that I bought is gonna help me immensely. Hey. Oh, he looks so good in the sunlight. Look at him. Oh, as the shadow's like coming down on him. Like, I know you're dating Tom and stuff, but he's an elder now. He's going to die probably soon. So, like, listen. Oh, we're on a date now? As to break up with Tom? 
Oh, part of me wants to do it, but the other part of me is just like, nah. And let's try for baby. Let's do it. If she denies me, watch, she's probably gonna deny me. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. This is gonna be really awkward. Mina's gonna pull up and she's like, oh, you're already with somebody else in our house? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Let me know if I come on too strong a little bit. And I thought I was coming on too strong. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Valencia, we are trying to accomplish something here and you're honestly like <laughs> getting in the way. So if you would please stop, maybe you should just like go over here or something. All right, don't mess with daddy's date. <laughs> wow, it's like we were here not that long ago in the same position. We feel like it's time to make this relationship official, remarked Cheyenne Kays after she and Buster Round announced they were now committed to each other. Wait, Buster? Ew, no, you can do so much better. What happened to the other dude you were getting with? This is literally Bina's coworker. Girl, no. Okay. Oh, wow. What a fit, girly. Okay, she's pregnant. All right. Well, Sugar, it was nice hanging out with you, but I think it's time for you to go home. So, um, <laughs> how do I just kick you out? Let's just end the date here. Oh, look at her. Yeah, what a fun day. Mm, don't mind me. <laughs> Ask to leave because we have somebody else we need to invite over. Miss Stella Stryker. I have to help matchmaking in this game because my poor girl Cheyenne. Maybe, oh, maybe she's just marrying him for the money. I didn't even think about that. In that case, girl, is smart. <laughs> maybe she's playing that game. It's not about the attraction. It's about the money, honey. Where the heck is Miss Stella Stryker? Oh, whoa, our relationship is solo with Stella. Okay, maybe I won't even bother going with Stella then. Forget it. I'm just gonna hit up Marina. Invite over. Oh, yeah, I didn't even mention the obvious. Is I did some very minor renovating because the table was too small. There was three sims and there was only four seats. Although we did have the island, but like I kind of wanted to have like an actual table set. Oh wait, Marina's talking to Bina? Wait, Bina, what are you wearing, girl? Oh, is this a part of your career? Probably. So I've been saying how I want to move them out into a mansion and stuff. So a couple days ago, I was going through like looking at all the mansions that are available in this world. And let me just tell you, a lot of them are so ugly or they're like too small so then i don't really have space for all my sims so i'm just like do i even bother where's marina she was literally just here did she leave wogan is now the father of a new baby boy morgan just gave birth to a baby boy named christopher wow okay yeah she did leave is she still here hello and ross can I reset? Like, is she good now? Oh, I can't even get paid now? What a joke. Wait, I have no money? Wait, what did I just do? Hold on. I can't even get paid by Lala anymore. You're telling me I did that gig for free? Unless I did get paid and I just didn't see it happen. Well, I'm just hoping that we did get paid. <laughs> I don't work for free. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Is maybe since we don't really get to hang out with family that much, what if we threw like a dinner party? Is that even an option? And then also later on, I need to try and hire a maid because sometimes I need a little bit of help around here because everything starts getting really filthy really quickly and I can't be asked taking care of it. <laughs> Plus, I feel like they're, you know, wealthy enough that they can afford that. Although I say that when they have like 4,000 simoleons in their bank. So are they really that wealthy? Mm, no, but we can pretend. Have a sleepover? Wait, isn't sleepover part of generation? Oh, I didn't mean to close it. Is it not? I thought sleepover was generations. Did I accidentally oh install God. generations? There's no way. Mutual loathing between Alan and Emmy has reached its inevitable conclusion and now they are freely calling each other nemesis. Ooh, oh my God, wait, no. I love watching the new lovebirds commented a looky-loo after spying Bianca Rowe with Arlo Kays gazing intently into each other's eyes. That one's plumage is quite brilliant. A good catch. <gasps> no! Bianca's getting to Arla before Bina can. Oh no. I mean, I don't think they're official yet. So, I mean... 
Oh, it's 125 simoleons per day? Dang. That's kind of a lot. We don't need make that kind of money. <laughs> but I'll take it regardless. So we'll do it. Are you excited that we have a maid? Order pizza. Girl, you just ate. This place is such a dump. It's making me want to leave. What do you think? I can erase you. Just to talk about the cause. That's so funny. Said it's a dump. He's taking it upon himself to clean it. Okay. Well, I'm going to head out real quick. Check out what's going on with Miss Marina. So... Oh, I got to turn this off because the music is just not it for me. Visit the household. Arlo actually lives in a mansion. He lives here. Which I was kind of surprised about. And I was thinking, like, what if Bina, like, got with him to get into the mansion? But at the same time, that mansion is pretty ugly. So, like... I'm at this point thinking that maybe I should just go to a penthouse. But I'm also pretty content living where we are living right now. So, I don't know. But it'd be nice to have, like, a nice big house. Unless we get another nice loan or something. <laughs> Our fake little loans. Come on up. Thank you. I'm coming. I'm coming up. I'm coming. This is the original guy that Cheyenne got with, Lenny Shutter, who is so much, I mean, he's much older, but he's better than Bust Around. Hey, Marina, what's up, girly? Uh, stop taking a photo of me, weirdo. I'm gonna just start being romantic. I just can't deal living in this house anymore. Cheyenne Case was heard to scream before stomping off the lot. Appears that the difference between her and Justin Case finally boiled over. <gasps> no, not them having troubles at, at home. I can't believe it, Bianca Rubble cheated on Arlo Case. <gasps> oh my God, wait, this is perfect because if she cheated on Arlo, that means Arlo's heartbroken and then he can cry on Bina's shoulder. Oh my god, this is perfect. We'll invite him over for dinner and things will be better, hopefully. This is kind of working out for me. Stop staring at me, girl. I know you're in love with me, but I just don't feel it. Oh, no, no. With the new child on the way, Cheyenne and Buster seemed a little shell-shocked recently. Well, we were planning to plasma eventually, noted Cheyenne. I guess better sooner than later. Buster, on the other hand, had little to say and simply stared blankly at a nearby tree. Oh my god, he's not feeling the relationship. I think he, he was trying to like split with her or something. Maybe he found out that she's in it for the money and she was like, well, if I have your baby. <laughs> oh my God. Diane and Buster have been seen snuggling and frankly, just being sappy together. Don't they have a house or something where they can do that sort of thing without burning out my eyeballs? Honestly, I would not want to see that. Cheyenne, honey, get that money and go. Kill him if you have to and move on. <laughs> Because this ain't it. <laughs> Can you not take my photo? Oh, I could have just canceled it. Oh. We've been living in the city for how long and you still don't know how to use an elevator. My, my. With the bun in the oven, Cheyenne, round, and Buster Round have decided to make it official and get married. Wow, we're getting all the updates as they come. No. Oh, no. She doesn't want to. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I take it back. I'm... I cringe. Calm down, please. I'm sorry. Oh, are they about to woohoo? Where did she go? Like, literally, where did she go? <laughs> oh, I think she went to work. Dang it, girl. Okay, anyways. We're gonna go home, and we're gonna go through this nice family gathering. I guess it could be, like, an early birthday as well for Braxton, because Braxton's birthday is coming up tomorrow. Well, since you're home, why don't we invite over... Family. All right, let's throw a party. Oh my gosh, Cheyenne round. I think that's it though. I wonder if I can tell her to like leave Buster and be like, girl, I don't think like he's for you. <laughs> what happened to that Corey kid? I really wanted to be friends with him and he just disappeared into thin air. All the kids are playing tag together. Basil Jackson? Arlo's here. Okay. I don't know who you are. This is a family gathering, and last time I checked, I've never met you in my life. So, if you're gonna ask you to leave, I'm so sorry. My apologies. Hey, Arlo. I heard about- Nice party, not- Not, I'm out of here. Hey, Arlo. We heard that your girlfriend, Bianca, was cheating on you, and I'm just here to say that if you need a shoulder to cry on, we're here. Oh, they were directed to each other. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting them to actually be attracted. Oh, he thinks we're hot. I mean, is he wrong? Like, is he wrong? No. So, I mean, chat with him. You know, we'll be here. We'll support you. Cheyenne didn't show up. Is she embarrassed or something? Like, girl, come on. Let me invite her. Oh, was that her? Oh, no, just kidding. She is here. JK. Hey, hunt. Who is this? LaShawn, a oh, paparazzi. Are you leaving already? Cheyenne. Girl, she's like, no, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't actually want to be here. Oh, okay. Clearly she's in it for the money because she was not driving this vehicle before. Okay, <laughs> Miss Cheyenne, she said. <laughs> wow. All right, girl, you know what? You do you, all right? If this will make you rich, sure, go for it. <laughs> Why? But why won't she want to hang out? <gasps> Cuddle? Wait. How? Oh, she'll come over. All right, perfect. He's too busy reading his book. <laughs> All right, is she back? All right, Cheyenne's back. So, um, you're married and he thinks we're <laughs> Justin, you're married, hun. Go talk to your grandma. We haven't even introduced ourselves to our grandparents. Imagine. Great celebrity. Uh, wait, are they all famous? Oh, he's one star. She's one star. Hey, sis. How's it going? I've been hearing all the buzz about you getting with uh, Busta Rounds. Who's calling us? Bianca. Bianca, what do you want? We heard about you getting with our brother and then breaking his heart. So, I mean... Hey, nice party. I gotta go now, though. All right, Arla, we'll be hitting you up. Don't you worry. Okay, so her relationship is getting up there a little bit more with him. All right, unless you have something impressive to talk about, I'm not interested. Dang! Celebrities nowadays, huh? Oh, wow, they're dancing together. She's like, I'm about to make you jealous by getting with your brother. <laughs> I still feel like deep down, they still, like, you know, really like each other. But... They're trying to like stare away from getting into any sort of romantic relationship because that's toxic. So is there a chance that maybe they could get back together? Oh, for sure. But like Bina knows that that's probably the worst thing for her. She's more than happy to make him jealous. That I think is her plan specifically with Arlo. Not there for the actual possibility of, you know, getting with him and having a life, but more so to, I don't know if necessarily hurt Ryder, but so that he knows that like, hey, like you're not the only one who can get with other Sims, you know? Cause Bina hasn't even gotten with anybody since the whole situation went down. Justin's getting pretty old and won't live forever. Now might be a good time to consider paying a visit. <gasps> no. Oh my God, Justin is dying. Wait, love has blossomed between Arlo and Bianca Rubble. Are there wedding bells in the future? Wait, what? She just cheated on you and you're getting back with her? Oh God, another toxic relationship. What is going on? Oh my God, that means that Bina's gonna ruin that relationship because if she gets with Arlo, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, it's fine. Everything's a mess here. I think in the morning we should go over to Justin's house because I wanna say goodbye to him, you know? Like officially, even though, I mean, I guess it was nice. We had this house party where we hung out with the family a little bit because that way it's like kind of like a last little gathering to say goodbye, which is so crazy. He's gonna die. I mean, Sabine's probably coming close as well. Come on, kids. We gotta go say goodbye to grandpa because he's dying. <laughs> it's so weird. How is Justin dying? But Miriam hasn't died yet and Burby yet. I guess Furby and Sabine will probably die around the same time. But like, huh? Like Miriam is still like alive and breathing for a good while. Like she needs to relax. <laughs> like, oh no, is that my kid? Oh, Esther. Okay, some of these NPCs don't make that cute babies. I thought maybe we'd have some cute babies. All right, family trip to say bye. Miriam must be drinking like some potion of youth or something for her to surviving that long. Oh, speaking of, Miriam just leveled up to level 10. It's Braxton's birthday, I know. We're gonna go talk to grandpa. Who's Roland? But he looks cute. If he's a young adult, I'm about to have Cheyenne get with him. Hold on. 
on. I'll be right there. All right. Be mocked. Uh-oh. Well, again. Yeah. Okay. Was a well, the kids have to go to school. See you, kids. We're gonna have you say goodbye to grandpa, but there's no way. Look at how alike they look. That is nuts. I mean, they are siblings, so it makes sense, but like, the resemblance there is crazy. Uh, hey, dad. Oh, wow. gonna say goodbye to you because you're dying. Can we go upstairs? Girl, what? Can I not go upstairs? Why do they want me in the house? That's so mean. <laughs> Whatever. I'm probably not gonna be able to witness him dying. Who is this? Sabine? What happened? Are you stuck in like... Uh... Reset? Like, what is going on with you? You believe dad's dying? And he won't let me upstairs? <laughs> Well, I did say my goodbyes, so, um, we love you, Justin. It was great knowing you. Uh, yeah, not much else to say, so goodbye. Hopefully you rest well and easy. You're my BFF. Oh, that's so nice. We love you too, man. All right, we're gonna go home because we have to get ready for work and all that. So watch me leave here. He just dies. <gasps> Justin just died. You couldn't have died a few seconds earlier? Aww. Rest in peace, Justin. That's so sad. Oh my god, that means like our third gen is about to be like disappearing. There he is. Dead. Oh, Valencia met a friend, Stacy Lawrence. What about you? You didn't meet anybody at school? Is this Stacy? Oh, it's Esther. Well, we can clearly tell you look a lot like your mom. <laughs> Those cheekbones, damn. Maybe we can invite over Stacy. We actually have to get him a birthday cake as well. So we can't even invite friends over because he doesn't have any. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Hey, Stacy. How's it going, girl? Whoa. <laughs> All right, Stacy. Oh my God. Actually, if anybody knows. Okay, so. For some reason, especially my Sims with dark skin tones, this is happening to me in my um, Sims 3 Not So Berry, which I haven't updated you guys on recently, but I did have an update video that went up a couple weeks ago. But a lot of my Sims with darker skin tones have these really awful pixels, and I followed these steps that people told me on Twitter on how to fix it, and nothing has helped. I even tried upping the quality of my Sim textures and stuff like that. That did nothing. It just made my Sims take forever to load in. And I literally don't know what to do. I changed my default skin. It didn't change. It's so annoying. Like, I want, you know, my sims to look good. And not freaking pixelated and splotchy. And it's just like, like, what is this? That is so annoying. Apparently, I was reading, like, forums. I was going through them. Like, so many of them. And apparently it has to do something with NVIDIA graphics cards and like the Sims 3 graphics not being updated to them or something like that. I can't remember. I think something like called dithering or something. I, I, I could be wrong. But apparently that like affects it. So I don't know. But it's so frustrating. I hate it. Where I was going with this was asking you guys if any of you happen to know a way to fix this problem or if any of you guys have come across it as well and have been able to fix it, any help would be appreciated because I'm just, I'm really bummed out that like, they look flawless and cast, but then as soon as I go into game, their skin is like all pixely and all that stuff. So I don't know what is a, um, I wish there was like an easier way to fix it because like obviously like I want everybody to look good, you know? <laughs> all right, Braxton, it's your time to shine, hun. Braxton case. Oh my god, now I just thought about it. That means Sabine is literally all alone in that apartment. That's so sad. Do we ever move in? <laughs> we don't have space for her though. Uh, did my game just freeze? Oh my god, I just got scared. I thought my game was gonna crash. Yay! What's up, a teen? Why are you laughing at him? Vina, relax. Hey! Oh my god. He has his dad's nose. Technically, I'd say he has Vince's nose because Vince's features have been trailing down 
for all generations. Like, crazy. I'm just, like, ready to, like, get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, not that he looked bad, but, like, his features were so strong. All right. So, okay, I can choose a trait for him. I'm going to make him a hopeless romantic. All right, well, I'm going to go give him a makeover real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished giving Braxton his makeover. This is what he looks like. And, uh, oh, I can't, you can't actually see his outfit from here. Which, I mean, it's nothing special or anything, but I feel like he's looking more like Vince here than I expected to. But, you know what? That's okay. I kind of live for it. So, he just has this white top, black pants, and some converse, and of course some piercings. So, yeah. Now he's a teen. We can go make him some friends. And I also want him to find, you know... Maybe a high school sweetheart or something. Because I know, like, we're going to be doing that with uh, Valencia. Well, I don't know if I am gonna if I want her to have a high school sweetheart. Maybe she gets with somebody in high school, but then later on in life find somebody better. I don't know. I haven't decided how I want her story to go. Um, yeah, so maybe next time when he goes to school, we'll be on the lookout for some cute boys. Which, by the way, I don't think I ever said this, but he is gay, so... He's gonna be looking for a man, which I'm really excited for. So like, that's why I was kind of like hoping for Corey. I was hoping that maybe Corey was cute and then we could get with Corey in the future. But he just went poof. I don't know if Corey exists, if Corey does not exist, but I guess we'll find out. So when we go to school, I'm gonna have him obviously meet people at school. And he's trying to clean up here, but I kind of want you to go over to Marina's house. Unless we can maybe invite her over before anything. Okay, she'll be over. Well, most likely we're trying to get Bina to chat with Arlo, obviously. It's just, you know, he was busy with work, which is unfortunate. Oh, she's getting tired. Don't leave, though, because I'm trying to get you pregnant, so please. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to try for baby now. I love you, girl. Relax. You said, you said, what? <laughs> You're like, um, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Furby is now the father of a new baby boy. Jessica gave birth to a baby boy named Ephraim. Ephraim? Ephraim? I don't know how to say that. But congrats, Furby. Listen, these kids need to stop interacting with writers' hookups. <laughs> they always got them talking. Ah, uh, excuse me. I need to go home now. Stacy, we were about to hook up with Marina and then you had to talk to her. It's fine. Okay, maybe since Bina's awake, we can try and hit up Arlo and chat with him before maybe he heads up to work. You can wake up too and we can go ahead and invite over Marina. They can finish this. <laughs> can we even invite him over? Oh, we can invite Arlo over. Maybe we should just do that. Oh, we can chat with him. No, you've been having a rough time with Bianca, but feel free to come over and we can chat. <laughs> he doesn't feel like coming over. Well, I guess we're just going to be talking to him on the phone then. <laughs> okay. Valencia's supposed to be having a bad relationship with her dad, which she did. And I have no idea how they ended up becoming best friends. Like, zero clue. Like, how did this happen? Oh, it's Stacy! Girl, don't you have school? Sims are starting to catch on that something is up between Ryder and Marina. They might want to tone it down a bit before someone gets hurt. <gasps> oh. Looks like Morgan and Wogan are still having heated arguments on the sidewalk. Mm. Trouble in paradise. Damn, girl, that's a big-ass tattoo right there. I got her at a good moment. Look at those teeth. Veneers? Or are they real? <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Yes, she's pregnant. Okay, perfect. So I actually have to go to work. So it was great seeing you, you know, love hanging out, but I actually gotta take care of myself real quick. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, your guitar sounds so good, Bina. Yeah, she's been working. Oh, excuse you. That was so mean. Women are supposed to uplift other women, not tear them down. <laughs> I'm also gonna get um, Braxton a part-time job because he really wants one. So I feel like we could just go ahead and do that. I think we'll, we'll just get a part-time job at the grocery store since we live so close by. We might as well. I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. Kind of weird because we're technically like family and sorry, we're not into women. So she's coming over. We can be like, we can be friends. 
I'll agree on that. Oh, why should I have make friends? Oh my god, I was supposed to and I forgot. Of course I did. Of course. Shut up. Morgan and Wogan are having another baby? You guys. I thought you guys were having marital problems and you guys are now... Oh, man. I need to go home now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm kind of busy anyways, so... Where are all the teen boys at? This couple is so dysfunctional. Morgan has decided to make it official and has declared that Wogan is now her nemesis. So, but you guys just found out you're having another baby together. Make it make sense. <gasps> wait, who are you? Kai. Oh, wait, why do you look like you were Emmy Star's baby or something? Like you look like an Emmy Star baby. Are you a, are you a teen or are you an adult? Let me just stand up real quick and see. Oh, look, speak of the devil is Miss Morgan. Hey, queen. I think he's an adult. Oh, he is. Never mind. Where are your shoes, dude? Oh, it's Braxton Case. It's a pleasure to meet someone who's famous like me. Yeah. Not this girl just pulling out her piano be like, hey, like, I'm expecting a child and I need some money. So any help would be appreciated. How are we doing? Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, we might actually get it. Valencia doesn't age up for another three days. So we can't really start her gen yet because she has to be a teen at least. Oh, this is so exciting. Probably one more episode and then we'll be able to start generations. Exciting. And what's the final verdict? Come on. And yes, yes, we're now a production manager. <laughs> We did it. We're officially done with Late Night Generation. That's so nuts. But I'm still gonna have one more episode because I want, you know, to wrap it up and of course age up Valencia and be, have him become a vampire. So I'm probably gonna record the next episode right after this one just so I can get that out of the way and I can move on because, yee! sorry, I'm just genuinely super excited to get on with this. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode off here. Next episode, I'm hoping that we can actually get Bina and Arlo together, get that whole thing situated, get maybe, maybe go for Stella. I haven't decided fully yet. And then, of course, Morgan, since her and her husband are clearly having extreme marital problems, but yet they're still popping out babies. They're probably having like makeup woohoo being like, oh no, like I do actually love you. And then, and I thought our family was dysfunctional. They are something else. So... Yeah, but that being said, I'm gonna head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.